So I just bought myself a MacBook and it's my first time owning a MacBook. And as a new proud owner of a MacBook, I did what all MacBook users do. Go to a Starbucks and pretend to be productive. Hi, can I get a drink? I want to use my MacBook. I want to use my laptop. Uh, can you use your uh, medium. But while at Starbucks, I realized I don't actually like the MacBook's keyboard. Like, I really hate it. Short key travel, lack of loop, we gotta fix this. So I came up with a solution. A solution so good, so amazing that even Tim Cook's jaw would drop. I built a mechanical keyboard onto a MacBook. Now to start this off, we're gonna need my MacBook. A 2008 MacBook Pro with full aluminum body and I got it for $200. It's not that bad, but it needed a little cleaning. Now the plan for this MacBook, which I'll show in this 3D render, is to first take out the insides of the MacBook. Take out the old keyboard, and fit it in with a new mechanical keyboard. Put everything back together and we should be done. In theory, this should work. So I started disassembling the MacBook. It may look like I know what I'm doing, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Fun fact, the only experience I had opening stuff was my modern iPhone 6S with a red case. Sadly, it didn't really work after that. After removing the motherboard, you can get access to the keyboard. Let me tell you, the amount of old strip screws that are in this case is insane. Ugh. So yeah, according to the plan, we're, we're there, we're halfway there. So all that's left to do is to replace the keyboard. Except it's not that easy because the plate wouldn't fit the keyboard, so I had to saw the whole plate. And once we're done with that, we can move on to the keyboard. Now for the keyboard, we're going to be using this RK61. Not because it's good, because it has a wireless receiver. I was running out of time, so let me show you this quick trick that I learned. While we were at it, I decided to switch the switch out for Gatoron Yellow. They are very smooth switch and they also really cheap to come by. We got a desoldering gun out, slap into the transformer and... I slowly took out each switch and soldered on some Gatoron yellows. Now with all that done, let's proceed to the final build. So I actually got the final product with me now and it actually turned out really nicely. But I'm not just going to show you the product. Let's go on a journey through Apple Park. <laughs> Now let's talk about the Mac. There has never been a more exciting time for the Mac. The reception to the new MacBook has been off the charts. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a breakthrough. Our customers agree. To tell you more, here's John. Thanks, Tim. Hi, I'm John Lee. You may know me for the keyboard table or John Lee Inc. Well, I'm proud to say that John Lee Inc. actually bought over Apple to form Apple. And today I'm going to introduce you the best Apple product yet, the MacBook. With an almost full-size mechanical keyboard fitted to the somewhat latest MacBook, you'll never want to type on butterfly switches ever again. With a new product comes with new challenges, but our skilled team of highly engineers have come with a new solution to mount the keyboard. We heard that many customers loved our sleekness and thinness of our old MacBooks. So we got rid of that. Gone are the days that you open the wrong side of the MacBook because now with the MacBook, it will forever stay open because it physically can't close. With the release of the new MacBook comes an entirely new, redesigned M9 11 core processor and it will fly through any apps you throw at it. We stress test the MacBook and we found out that it works in any environment we threw at it and that is thanks to the new IP69 water resistance. With all that said, let's talk about the price. Starting at only $727 for the base model and $12,999 for the non cherry brown model. Trust me, you'll want to pay the extra. And that's everything you'll be getting with MacBook. MacBook is the best and greatest product ever made by Apple. I honestly don't know what happened to this video, but uh, here's a sound test for those who are still watching. This keyboard is trash. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, this is really dumb. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you like this video because it took me really long to do this video. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.